Hello there, Libra. Thank you for stopping by for your video tarot forecast for the week of June 8th through the 14th. I am using my Russian deck, uh, or excuse me, my Russian tarot of St. Petersburg once again. And so on Monday, Libra, what we have for you is we have the Hierophant in reverse. You are going to be in rebellion on Monday. <laughs> Anything and everything that is done around you just because that's the way we've always done it is going to be subject to your open fire. <laughs> Let's just blow that right up. <laughs> there has to be a more efficient way. There has to be a more fun way. There has to be a more productive way. Just because we've always done it is not a good enough w reason to do the things that you do the way you do them. And so I see you just wiping all of those out. <laughs> I see you being very creative and very constructive about replacing those old ways of doing things with things that are new, that are productive, that are happiness making, that are more efficient. Um, it's almost, I mean, this is such a strong energy with you on Monday. It's almost like, um, it's like, You've been hired into to come into an office. This is what it feels like. It feels, and this is not going to be true for everybody, but I'm trying to give you a flavor for the kind of energy that I'm feeling here. But this would be the way the energy would feel if you would be hired into an office, have been there a couple of weeks, and be now you're trained and you're turned loose on your own, and you have been noticing all these things that you want to do better. <laughs> and so now you're coming in and you are doing them better. Um, that's what that energy feels like. It's just total rebellion to how things used to be. And it's just coming in and just taking over and uh, really making the processes around you much more efficient, better, more productive. It's all, it's really good stuff. I'm feeling like also it is really work to get some of these changed over. Um, for some of you, the people around you are going to be really appreciative for the changes that you're making. Some of the other people around you are going to be panicking because things are changing. <laughs> so just be aware, be ready that that could happen. <laughs> you might get a little bit of backlash, um, but a lot of you actually are going to get some really good compliments on the things that you're doing, whatever it is that you're rebelling against and changing. Now Tuesday, oh my goodness, it's the Empress. And this kind of feels like a continuation of yesterday. It feels like, yes, you're standing your ground. Yes, you know you're changing things. Yes, you. this is now your job. You're in charge of how it gets done. And thank you very much. It's getting done better. <laughs> and you're just standing your ground and you're um, holding on to your authority. You're not letting anybody intimidate you or guilt you into going back to the way things used to be. So that's what I see coming in on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we have the Ace of Swords showing up. I'm hearing that there's going to be a very good conversation on Wednesday. This conversation does have to do with some of the changes that you've been making. I feel like if you're having this conversation with your boss, I think your boss is kind of looking at you as Wonder Woman or Superman at this point. And your boss is kind of saying, wow, I'm really impressed with da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Now do you think you could do something over here with this part <laughs> of how things are run? And so asking you to make some adjustments and some tweaks and some tuning in some other place. On the other hand, I feel like if this conversation is one that happens with, say, the person that trained you, I feel like that person is feeling a little bit um, offended that things are being done differently. They're kind of taking it personally. To them, it's coming across personally like like you changing things is almost, to them, it's like saying how you did things kind of sucked. So now we're going to do them a better way, you moron. <laughs> and I don't really get the feeling that that's at all how you mean to come across here. And I don't feel like you're actually saying anything that would indicate that. But I do feel like you should be aware that this person, um, if this is not your boss, this person is taking this as a personal attack on their abilities and um 
and how they used to run things. Yeah. Okay, and I feel like for some of you, you're going to actually have both of those conversations on Wednesday. You're going to have the conversation with the boss who asks you to change more stuff, and you're going to have the conversation with the person whose shoes you're filling um, from before where they're kind of taking it personally, like, why are you changing this? This is this always worked well before. <laughs> and they probably will say exactly that to you. <laughs> so just be ready to handle that, you know, kind of gently, as gently as you can, because um, even though you're not really saying anything that should make them take it personally, they are feeling a little bit um, affronted by that. So kind of keep that in mind, that everybody's human and we all have our own insecurities, and they're just feeling really insecure, so try to handle that in a sensitive way is the uh, best way to have that turn out smoothly for yourself. Okay, so Thursday, what we have showing up is we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. By the way, you want to keep this person that trained you as your friend. You don't want to make them your enemy. <laughs> That's part of why you're handling this in a sensitive way. You know, you're not going to say to them, you're not going to rub it in their face that, oh, the boss likes this. You know, you're not going to say, the boss likes this, so go jump in a lake. You're going to say, you know, I understand that things are really different and that I'm doing things, you know, I'm changing things really quickly here. Um, but um, I was hired to fill this position. And I'm just tweaking it and, you know, doing things that work for me and making it more my um, job and how I want things to work out. Um, where before you had made it your job and like you wanted things to wear out. So this is, I'm just putting my own character on, on this here, just like you put your character on it before and try to kind of soothe them a little bit. Okay, so moving on again. Seven of Cups in reverse coming up on Thursday. This is telling me that on Thursday you're looking at a lot of different options. You're thinking about what's going to work best for you. You may even be thinking about you know, which ones of these can you do all at the same time? I'm hearing that some of you are considering, um, you know, do I have enough energy, resources, time to fit in school classes at the same time that I'm working, at the same time that I'm being a mom, or at the same time that I'm being a dad? Um, it looks to me like you're trying to figure out um, some other good options for yourself that you can actually fit into your schedule in some kind of sane way. Um, I like the Seven of Cups in reverse because when it comes up in reverse, it's talking about not only looking at options, but having a very realistic, grounded look at your options. So in other words, this is a way of looking at them and going, okay, well, how would I do this? It's a very practical way of looking at your options. How would this work? What would this look like if I would pursue this? Um, so this is the kind of thing that you walk away from with some very concrete ideas about what's the first step to take towards this or this or this option, whichever options you decided that you want to move forward with. So that's really, it's a good card about awareness and evaluation and making plans really to move forward. So that's your Thursday. Friday what we have showing up is we have the Two of Coins, Libras. Two of Coins really talks about balancing a lot of stuff all at once. So you have a lot going on on Friday. You're kind of, it feels to you like things are really hectic, like you're running around like a chicken with your head cut off. The beautiful thing about the Two of Coins card when it comes up though is that it really talks about gracefulness as you're doing this. So as other people see you um, doing what you're feeling like is running around with your head cut off like a chicken with your head cut off, they're seeing somebody handling everything gracefully and they're thinking, you know, wow, how does he or she do that? That's just pretty amazing that they can fit all of this stuff into their day. So um, you're coming off very well <laughs> no matter how frazzled you feel on the inside. <laughs> and then on Saturday, what you have showing up is you have the Seven of Clubs in reverse. And I like the Seven of Clubs in reverse. This really talks about um, a continuation of a situation. So when you have the Seven of Clubs, when it comes in upright, what it talks about is that you have to take a stand for yourself. That maybe somebody has your, put your back against the wall and now you have to stand up and say, hey, you know what? I can only handle so much workload in one day. I'm only one person. Or hey, you know what, I'm doing the best job I know how to as a mom here or as a dad here, and I would really appreciate you cutting me a little bit of slack while I'm trying to figure everything out. You know, whatever it is, 
you have to take some kind of stand for yourself. And so when the Seven of Clubs comes up reversed, as it has on Saturday, this is telling me that you've made your point now. You've taken your stand. You've made your point. People understand where you're coming from now. So now it's time to let that go. In other words, don't keep pushing it in people's faces. Let them do what they're going to do with that information now. And make peace and move forward. Move forward productively and just make peace with whatever is going on, however they're handling it. Because just like you're doing things the best way you know how to do, they're doing things the best way they know how to do too. So there's no reason to keep pushing something in their face. Just keep moving forward peacefully and harmoniously. Um, if you have to make more drastic changes later on because they are not making changes, then you can always do that. But hang out a little bit and wait and see how they handle um, the whole idea that you know, you've know you stood up for yourself and you have these new boundaries that they weren't aware of before. <sighs> Sunday, what we have coming up is we have the Nine of Swords. Now, the Nine of Swords talks about having a situation that has us really concerned or worried. It's something that typically we don't have any control over, and it's something that um, keeps us from really being able to focus on our own lives and what we're trying to do for ourselves during the day. And so really the best piece of advice I can give on this is... Um, <laughs> Spirit's being funny. Best piece of advice, Spirit's saying, tell them to go to an Al-Anon meeting. <laughs> and maybe for some of you that would be appropriate. Uh, but best piece of advice really that I can give you is um, it's always good to be aware of what you can actually control or influence and what you can't. And if there's something that you can't control or influence, then... Please don't let it be a distraction to yourself. Think about the things that you can control or influence. Do something about the things that you can control or influence. But if you're feeling helpless, like your hands are tied, and there's nothing that you can do to impact the situation, then why would you, why would you let that situation distract you from living life to the fullest? Please don't do that. So anyway... That is your week Libras. For those of you who would like to schedule a private session with me, please feel free to check out my website. I'm at amista.info, A-M-I-S-T-A dot I-N-F-O. I have recently started offering um, card of the day or cards of the week for um, individuals. So if you think that might be something you would be interested in, you want to check that out. Plus I also do um, live readings and I do one and two question readings. So you want to check all that stuff out. See if any of that stuff is a good fit for you and if I'm a good fit for you. Once you've looked at all that, if you would like to work with me, then go ahead and, whoops, drop some cards. <laughs> then go ahead and get in touch with me and we will schedule your session soon. For everybody, I will see you all here next week. Everyone have a great week. Peace out.